Well, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and today is finally the day. Ace Combat 7, available now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox, coming in February for PC. I just completed this game myself, and I'm doing a little intro at the start of each video to kind of give my uh, personal point of view of what I was feeling at the time and what I think of this game overall. This was an incredible experience. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, is wonderful. I'll be playing through the entire campaign, so welcome to episode one. I'll be playing through the VR missions as well, which are separate from the main campaign. They are somewhat connected, but not necessary to uh, enjoy the main story of Ace Combat 7. And uh, as you see when I when I go on, we'll see a lot more of the uh, aircraft tree, and I'll eventually learn to uh, unlock parts and get a lot more. So uh, this was an incredible experience, and I'm so excited to uh, show this off on the channel. So welcome to everybody who's subscribing, and thank you everyone for clicking and tap that like button. If you'd like to see all of the Ace Combat 7 series and more, if you'd like to see 5 or 0 or 4 on the channel, let me know, because I want to do full playthroughs on these. And if you got the pre-order for Ace Combat 7, you even got Ace Combat 5 with that unless you ordered with the uh, Xbox and then you get Ace Combat 6. So both very cool games uh, as a pre-order bonus for that. All very exciting. I went to Na uh, Bandai Namco Studios to actually quote-unquote launch the game a few days before its release and it was a ton of fun. So a very fantastic team and a very fantastic game. We've got missiles, we've got planes, we've got ATGMs, we've got uh, anti-ship missiles and we've got an incredible storyline. So we'll start with Mission 1 and again I'll do these uh, little intros at the start to make it transformative so that way you know I can can make my ends meet, I suppose, to make it legit. And then, of course, so that way I can tell you that Ace Combat 7 is incredible. Uh, taking place kind of connected more to the story of Ace Combat 4, for those of you who may remember that. Of course, involving Belka and Arusia and Otsia and all these other countries. All the past games kind of coming together here, but only time will tell. So thanks again for dropping in. Without further ado... Let's get started. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. Thanks for understanding that this is my first playthrough, so some things may be cut together because I died or something like that. The game is very difficult, but it has very generous um, checkpoints. And it's, I shouldn't say it's difficult, it's in, impossible, but it is a real challenge, and it's really fun. And for most missions, I got about a B or an A, and I think there might be some S rankings, too, in there, so hopefully I can do better in future playthroughs as more planes are unlocked in time. So again, aircraft tree and parts, things I found out a little bit later on how to use and became more prevalent later in the campaign. At the start, it's very easy and basic, but the challenge ramps up soon enough. All right, guys, let's get into it with the first mission. If you're excited, again, let me know, and thank you, everyone, for being here. Let's get started, and welcome to Ace Combat 7. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. 
It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. You should have been my best piece of junk. Should have built a return to. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Wait, our sight's still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main Squadron, head to runway. Column Squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Main Squadron. Trigger your call 
All side is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. The situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with page one. Page two, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. The carrier. Whoa, looks like the harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem 4, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Okay, here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. You're a good pilot, or so I told him. I had to fill an empty spot, so play along. It's still a leash, though. ourselves. That's it. 
It's great when it's simple. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. Skykeeper, this is Mage 1, over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Whoa, their trigger. Settle down. Mage 2, maintain your element with Mage 1. Do not break off. Mage 1, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Welcome. Golem 2, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Golem, Mage, two new enemy groups. This is HQ. Attention all combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, this is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. Mage 2, missile AVs. Keep telling them apart. Drinking, drinking. Target is down. Attaboy, Trigger.
hit by a missile. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Caution. Hold up. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks.